love talking about Paul Milliken, right? <laughs> it's one of the of Atlanta's hardest hitting fundraising events with local men and women going to head to head in the ring, boxing for their chosen charity. And next weekend's Brawl for a Cause will be bigger than ever since it's being held at the new Mercedes Benz Stadium. Yeah, the event's going to showcase 30 amateur boxers in 15 bouts, including a local CEO who is lacing up his gloves for the first time in nearly 40 years. Ooh. And good days, Paul Milliken is live at Champs yeah. Boxing and Fitness. That's in Smyrna. Giving him a little coaching, or are you going to be his punching bag? I want to see you in the ring, my friend. Come on. <laughs> Look at this. Are you kidding me? Some sort of new dance. Did right? you never see Rocky? Popular new dance right here. Look, Buck, I've named this guy right here Buck Lanford. This right here. Hit it. Okay, this hit is it. my hit it. all hit morning it. long. Look, I was going to get in the ring, uh -huh. like I said before, and then I showed up to Champs, and this place is no joke. Like, this is real boxing going on. And right there in the black shirt, that's Eddie Capel. So if you saw Eddie day to day, he'd be in a business suit. He's the CEO of a company here in Atlanta, and he is back in the ring for the first time in nearly 40 years, and this guy is training day and night for next Saturday's match. So again, why would he do it? Why get back in the ring at this point in time? Well, he says the experience for him is all about generating some hope. There are a few lessons to be learned from Eddie Capel, and the first is be careful what you tell your co-workers. Some of them knew that as a teenager I had done a little bit of boxing. That's Eddie Capel at 19, amateur boxing in England. Today he's president and CEO of Manhattan Associates, an Atlanta-based technology solutions firm. But when his colleagues heard about Brawl for a Cause, in which people box to raise money for charity, they naturally thought about their boss. I said, no, you got to be crazy. I pointed out to them, 36 years since I've been in the gym, you know. But here's another lesson. Sometimes you just got to answer the call. In a weak moment, I agreed and uh, thought, what, what the heck, let's step up and, uh, and see if we can make an event of it. But to brawl for a cause, Eddie Capel needed one. And that's where his neighbor, Kathy Parham, comes in. The likelihood of children of incarcerated parents to become incarcerated themselves a conservative national estimate is around 70%. Parham serves on the board of directors of Camp Hope, a free week-long summer camp for kids with a parent behind bars. You see some of these kids walk in when they're eight years old and they come to camp and quite frankly they're not really very trusting of anybody. Some of them after years of coming they'll say I'm, I'm alive because of Camp Hope. Literally I lived because I came to camp. So these faces are the reason after 36 years, Eddie Capel is lacing up the gloves. And that brings us to lesson number three. Boxing is not like riding a bike. I mean, there are, there are two things you need in boxing, really, power and speed, uh, and I have neither of them anymore. When I first went there, I mean, it was terrific. I was, I was feeling pretty good about life for the first month or so. And then after about a month, um, I started doing a little sparring with, you know, some 20-year-olds and so forth, and then I realized and understood why there are no 56-year-old boxers. But his hard work at Smyrna's Champs Boxing and Fitness is paying off. He's losing weight and getting quicker on his feet. I'm so um, humbled and in awe and so deeply appreciative of his dedication to this. And perhaps that's the most important lesson of all. No matter how old you are, no matter how tired, no matter how busy with corporate life, some things are just worth fighting for. All right, so I wouldn't get in the ring. I made Eddie come out of the ring to see me. Eddie, sir, how you doing this morning? Doing great, Paul. Doing great, Paul. Yeah, doing you're looking good in there, my friend. Looking good. So as of this morning, how much money have you raised? Well, we're uh, overnight. We got a couple more donations, so we're just over fifty thousand dollars, Paul. Unbelievable! Fifty thousand dollars for Camp Hope. I know with that money, they wanted to add a second week of camp, so they're certainly going to be able to do that. Right? I think so. I think so. We're going for a full year. Yeah, that is yeah, great. So you're going to be brawling against somebody else raising money. Now, how does the money? get distributed between the two boxers. Right, so we pool our donation funds. Okay. Uh, so Marshall Childs and I will pool, pool our donation funds. Yeah. We box, and the winner gets 60% for their charity, and the loser gets 40% for their charity. So nice. boxing for real money. Nice, all right. And you can still donate to Camp Hope and Eddie's Absolutely. Cause right here. We've got all the information on our website. And coming up next hour, yeah. are you ready for the spar of your life? I am. I am. I heard it's a mean, mean opponent. Absolutely. He's already scared. I love it. <laughs> yeah, He's yeah, hurt. 
scared. Word. The Millican reputation. We're getting in the ring next hour. Don't miss it. Hey, Paul. Hey, Paul, I want to see you. I want to see your jab hitting what you nicknamed Buck. Let's see it. Come on. I want you to punch that bag. Just dance around. Come on. Let's see the punch. Just dance around. Come on. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. <laughs> that is awesome. <laughs> so Steady Eddie versus get some ice. Nine one one. Steady Eddie versus Pushover Paul. That should be a good match. I can't wait to see that. You know, I'd get in the ring with Paul for a good cause. Let's do it. We, we Let's might get raise it. some money. I think that's a good thing. This year's bra for a cause will take place Saturday, February seventeenth at six o'clock p.m. at Mercedes Benz Stadium. If you're interested in buying tickets to the event or donating to any of the boxers' causes, we've got links online. Just look under the story. Look for the story rather under the Good Day section of Fox Five. Atlanta.com. 845 is your